This is Joshua from Internalysis, the show where you can find overspecified factual statements to answer your questions. Today, we are taking a look at two largely popular games called Fortnite and Apex Legends and seeing which is more likely to emerge victorious in the gaming universe. To successfully anticipate where the triumphant game resides, we will have to split this into several categories. Initial popularity, time put into the development process, income, prior experience, and platform compatibility. So, let's jump into the first category. To elaborate on the meaning of initial popularity, it means the amount of popularity it gained within the first few months of its availability to the public. With these two games having seasons, it makes this category much easier. When Apex Legends was first introduced in the gaming world, people went nuts over its contents, and this was during the time that Fortnite was depriving all games of their population. But within the first 30 days of availability to the public, it acquired a whopping 30 million players. The same can't be said for Fortnite, which acquired 8.3 million players within its first season. Not to say Fortnite has not gained popularity over a short period of time, when in May of 2019, they reached a quarter of a billion players. Moving on to the next category. As we all know, Fortnite is the most popular game in the world right now, but did you know Fortnite was originally designed to be called Fortnite Save the World, a player versus everyone instead of the battle royale we know and love today? That's right, Fortnite was originally going to be exclusive to its one mode, Save the World. The version of Fortnite was in development for more than five years now, I believe. The battle royale mode has been in development for two years now. Many people will be confused about it being in development currently when it is available to the public. What we mean by this is it is currently receiving updates. Apex Legends has also been in development for two years, making this a tie. On to the next category. It's no secret that Fortnite and Apex Legends make money. If they didn't make money, they couldn't continue their game. Fortnite being a free game and all, seeked an alternative method to obtain profits. They chose in-game cosmetics, which can be purchased by an in-game currency called V-Bucks, which can be purchased by real money. And the amount you spend dictates the amount of V-Bucks you acquire. These cosmetics include skins, gun wraps, pickaxes, emotes, and sprays. The most amount of money Fortnite has made in a month is $318 million, whereas the most amount of money Apex Legends has made in a month is $92 million. On to the next category. As many of you are aware, EA is a popular company that has made several popular sports and shooter games. They are familiar with the feeling of making an extremely popular game and know how to deal with it. Due to Epic Games' unfamiliarity with the feeling of manufacturing an extremely popular game before, they have less experience in this region. That in no way means they are inexperienced in the art of making games. They have manufactured several games, including Unreal Tournament, Infinity Blade, Shadow Complex, and many more. Now, moving on to the last category. In order to expand the player base of the of their games, many companies will open up to a new platform, possibly welcoming up, possibly welcoming an entire new community. Fortnite's story is no different. To expand their popularity, they supported mobile gameplay, and we've went so far as to add an exclusive skin to a specific device twice. A company by the decision to support mobile, they supported the Nintendo Switch as well as that. Not to say Epic Games hasn't promoted other platforms. In order to obtain a specific skin cosmetic, you would be forced to buy a certain type of PS4. The skin became less exclusive when Epic tied the skin to a certain PS4 controller, leaving the people who bought an entire PlayStation feeling like they wasted their money. If I'm being honest here, what kind of person buys an entire $400 gaming console for a useless cosmetic pertaining to a video game? Unless someone has an explicit motive for to be purchasing an item of this price, they really shouldn't, because a game console's purpose is its ability to run video games. If it is being utilized for the sole purpose of acquiring a skin cosmetic, it is by default a waste of money, regardless of how much you have. If you were complaining that Epic Games wasted my money advertising a skin on a $400 PS4 and then advertising it on a $50 controller, what cosmetic in a video game is worth both of these amounts of money? I'll tell you the answer, none. An empty black pit of darkness which is oddly reminiscent of Apex platform comp compatibility. No, I'm serious. Apex Legends has PC and console. That's it. I can go into detail, but the information is useless. So I crown the winner, Fortnite. That's all for the video. Bye.